Good afternoon, everybody. Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some more Sang Freud. Uh, hope, Tale of Werewolves. Hopefully, we'll actually be able to finish this guy up here today. Now, the interesting thing is it says T Tome 1 for this as well. So, I'm really hoping that we will actually get another game in this, like in the series of this game, of this, well, you know, you know what I'm saying. Because uh, that would be really cool. That would be really cool. Alright, so we still have... A couple days left here, six days left. We'll see how long we survive here. We do have a full moon tomorrow, so that should that's I can almost guarantee that's gonna affect it somehow. More than likely I'm gonna get absolutely assaulted by werewolves is what I'm assuming is gonna happen there. Werewolves, grand wolves, you know, just wolves of the arse wolves. Ah, the hermit one compulsory er contemporarily called the hermit was not very long ago, considered to be quite an ingenious inventor. And I think we already covered that and looked this over once, if I'm not mistaken, last time. The toad and his treasures. There are limits to my patience. Since you asked me, the church hasn't been repaired, and the mass hasn't been said for close to two weeks now. However, I still haven't seen Josephine yet, and I'm still waiting for that missy from Rome you promised me. If I failed until now, it's not for a lack of trying. Close to half the village goes werewolf every night to help us get rid of the two brothers. And that number is growing. Time is on our side. Maybe dun, dun, time dun. is on your side, but it's not on mine. The Archbishop of Quebec City will soon launch an investigation on what's happening here if my church isn't repaired soon. And then I'll be damned. You would be right to worry, my little priest, if I didn't have a plan. <sighs> Let's lure one of the two brothers to the village and rid ourselves of him. Dun, dun, then dun. while the other one is fighting the werewolves, you'll be free to seduce Josephine. Seduce her? You mean, make her submit to me? Without having to use force? I have in my possession Josephine's blood, and with Aww, that blood, puppy. I will soon be Why able to prepare whining? a love potion that Come will make here. you irresistible to her. Aww. Father, Napoleon. Last night was ghastly. I watch your watch. I still have many sins to confess. Oh, doctor, excuse me for interrupting. But you're not interrupting us at all, my dear friend. You've come just at the right time. The father and I were just talking about the need to uh, calm down the O'Carroll brothers for good in order to improve the climate of the village. And I believe that you could provide us with considerable assistance in that area. Dun dun dun. Bastard. Anyway. Well, he's not the devil for no good reason. Grapes! Is it just me? Or were there even more werewolves attacking my mill last night? Yes, there Indeed. were. Indeed. It's as if something was attracting them. Miller, are you sure Aww, there's nothing you're hiding okay. from us? Uh, no. I have no idea what it could be. Crapo, the toad, lies as he breathes. What has been his misfortune will be our salvation or our undoing. The second key is hidden in the mill. Dun dun dun. Yeah, toad. Sounds like my sister doesn't agree with you. I'm gonna go take care of the wolves, and then I'm gonna take care of you. I advise you to spill the beans. Dun dun dun. Yeah, you better, boy. Nah, anyway. Let's do this. Let's see what we have to deal with here tonight. Oh, Lord. Uh, I think we've already all seen this, but let's watch it again anyway. The Sacred Tree. To charge the Sacred Tree, you must perform a magical oh, yeah, yeah, tribal yeah. dance. This icon shows how many charges are remaining. The Sacred Tree will automatically attack nearby enemies until its charges run out. Actually, the Sacred Tree is particularly effective against mythical creatures. Hell, in all honesty, <coughs> if they could deal with the Mycans, I would love to have it. Okay, so we have Mycan warriors, Mycan shamans going up there. Silver. Grander werewolves. Alright, what do I... Let's see what I have to work with here. I'm pretty sure I'm using a silver axe right now. Nope, King's double bit axe, actually. Did I not buy... I could have sworn I bought that. I must not have done it again yet. Oh, here we go. Lumberjacking 3. Gives you 9 more credits for a, or a cents for a total of 10 cents. 
Nice. That'll be nice to have. That is probably the most important one to have. Even though I like this one right here, the charge gets another two shots, especially considering, you know, how tough those little buggers are. But, you know, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it as I have to. We have this old musket. I'm good with that. I'll probably sort all this out. So we only have the one wave, so that makes things a lot easier. And literally, they're all practically going for the same target here, so that's a good thing. Oh yeah, this is where I rearranged this whole thing, so I went here instead. Yeah, I remember that. So let's delete this one here, because I honestly don't need that. Alright, and we're going to... Something, something, dark side. Um, oh yes, I remember now. Where is that thing? We'll put up the watchtower. We're only missing one trap now. We have one more trap and that's it. There we go. Done. So I now have a way to get all the way there. I'm going to put all my big traps down near this place, I think. So let's cut this off for one. Okay. These guys are going to walk right over here and immediately die because of the spikes. I'm pretty sure the spikes are enough to insta-kill those guys. Okay, I'll deal with these two immediately. This one I'm also going to have to deal with pretty much immediately. I will force him through the top there, that way I can deal with him a little bit easier. Oh, he's going down now, actually. Whatever, either way I can set up the ballista down there and shoot him down there too, either way that works. Either way, that works for me. Alright. Alright. Hmm. Couple of grand werewolves. This is going to be very interesting, to say the least. And how I'm going to deal with these guys. The Will-O-Wisps are nothing. I should be able to deal with them pretty easily. So I'll smack down the first two wolves. These wolves should die from that. I do want a Ballista down here. set up against... oh no, no, I messed that up. I thought so. I thought it was pointing the wrong direction, but I couldn't quite see it. Alright, there we go. Okay, wayside cross. No, I don't need that, really. Which direction is the wind facing? Okay, good, it is facing south. Well, those guys should get here fairly quick. So, I will use my shout to pull them over, pull the grand werewolves that is, uh, over this way. They should arrive at about the same time. Or actually, you know what? No, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Grand werewolves should also be susceptible to bait, I believe. So I'll use another trap for the grand werewolves. And then I'll deal with the will-o'-wisps. Once the will-o'-wisps are, are dead, then all I have to do is deal with the Mycans that are heading towards this uh, bit right here. Now, I don't, although I will probably need a, what's it called? Silver weapon at some point here in the future. I don't right now. Because I'm pretty sure I can deal with two Mycans with just my axe. But again, I'm probably going to use another explosive barrel down here. And call that as is. That should be good enough for now. Okay. Oh, actually, I think dealing with this Windigo, though, without that is going to be tough. Hmm. Ah, the mortar is the last one I'm missing still. How much does this thing cost? 
30 and 20. Either way, it's going to cost a lot of money, so I might as well just use two of these. So I'll fall back to this position and fire another one at him. Okay, that'll work. So for the rest of the time, let's generate me some good funds. I love how much money I'm making off that now. Um, I'll check out the reserve just to see if he's got anything new. Even though I doubt he does. Ooh, 550. Silver Tomahawk. The damage is really nice. Agility. It's all really nice in that. I'll buy a couple of your silver bullets. Good, sir. And I'll call it with that for him. Let's go to Wolvesdale. Let's see what I have here in stock. General store. What do you got for me, old bean? Of course, you got the wolf uh, fur vest. It gives uh, minor damage, I believe, against uh, werewolves or wolves. And of course, we have this to sprint 25% longer, which is nice. I don't really need any of this, and I do have the best musket anyway for the double blast. So I'm good with that. I'm good with what I got. So I have two of these, one stamina and one fill rage. Okay, I'll bless a couple bullets, I think. Let's check out the blacksmith first, though. Yeah, no, nothing new here. The thing I didn't expect there to be. To the Covenant! Let's bless a couple of bullets. Alright, now let's get some potions and get to work here. We got some monsters to kill. Irish whiskey. Slight increase to fear factor. That could probably help. And also refreshes the shout, so that's really nice, actually. That is really nice. Increased damage, I'll buy that. Faster sprint, why not? And health is always welcome. Because you never know. Okay, let's get out of here. Return to the house. Inventory. It's already all in my inventory, okay good. nature of things for example the tormented souls of werewolves this being said pieces usefulness of the glasses has never been shown huh anyway I digress let's do this thing hopefully I plan for everything correctly we have everything we need and everything should die really well we'll see what happens we'll see what happens it all depends how quick I am especially considering the werewolves down the bottom left here At me, boys! And they're going down. Alright. Oh shit, they're going faster than I expect them to. Kill Windigo with only traps. Oh, sweet. Oh, god damn it, you still live. That's unfortunate. Oh, you punks, I'm gonna kill you all. Hope you realize this. Triple charge here. Ow, you punk! Oh, 
And you're down, my friend. I still haven't even used my shout yet, so that's good. Now all that's left is the mic can, so it didn't quite go as well as I thought it would. I expected the werewolves to trip that track there, and they might have actually. Those ones were too weak, so there were some actual wolves I missed somewhere. Come on, you punks. Come at me, bros! Unfortunately, one was a little more delayed than the other one I thought would be. Yeah! Come closer, you stinking little critter! Alright, I'll have to do this manually, I think. Got him. Pricks, eat it! Eat my explosives! Again, not how I imagined it would go, but I did well enough, I suppose. I even got an achievement! Huzzah! I'm sure most of the achievements are kill them with only traps, because they work well for the harder character, thus making them really nice achievements to get. I wonder what kind of benefits he actually gets for traps. Okay, I have a confession to make. I'm the grandson of the famous Antoine saint Crapeau, the lumberjack who made a deal with the devil in order to bewitch his saw so it would work in his place. Thanks to his magic blade, my grandpa made a fortune cutting wood, but then my father lost it all. When my grandpa died, the blade of his saw broke and I kept a piece of it here with all my things. I can't get over it. St. Crapeau's grandson in person. Evil attracts evil. Everybody knows that. The blade must be acting like a magnet for the werewolves. If that's what's attracting the beast, sir, I'll give it to you. You could do with it what you like. A piece of the legend. A nice piece of scrap indeed. There's nothing to be done with that. We'll melt it down, Joe, and forge it into a new axe. Interesting. Elzir, the youngest of rich family, Elzir was forced by his parents to join the church despite his feelings towards the idea. Although he never was never a good Samaritan, uh, he was able to acquit, get acquitted uh, from his exams with some generous bribes. In order to get rid of him, the bishop sent him to run the parish in a remote region of Wolvesdale Vale. Never letting his misfortunes get the best of him, the power-hungry priest never missed an opportunity to increase his favor in the village, no matter the cost. Okay. Interesting indeed. So it's time for a full moon. We'll have to see what happens here. This will be interesting. So you want me to recast this old piece of saw blade into an axe? You sure don't do nothing like other folks, you O'Carrolls. Come back tomorrow. It should be ready. I won't charge you a penny. Since you saved my daughter's life, it's the least I can do. Super axe for the win! Where were you? The tribe has been looking for you for days. Why didn't you help the sons of Mani Wepikwan as I ordered you to? I consulted the Mikan ancestors. Josephine will be useless to us. The Windigos that flooded our lands killed many of our people, as well as whites. How can you trust such a hot-headed people? Only the Mikans have the knowledge and the power to defeat the invisible beast that is coming! Only Mani Wepikwan prophesies the coming of the Invisible Beast. Only Josephine, her daughter, will be able to save us. In that case, Uzi Mashk, I will go into exile because I refuse to die for your foolishness. Listening to the teachings of Mani Wepikwan and the ancestors can never be foolishness. Turning away from Aww, it as you are doing now is pure folly. Shh, it's okay, go, puppy. Shaman. It's okay. The tribe of the Inuit will be safer without your influence. Oh, you cool. Oh, if we have five waves today, my god, this is gonna be interesting. 
What the hell is this? Oh, my can works. Oh, I'm gonna need the axe. I'm gonna need the silver axe. Shh, puppy, come on. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I swear. And people leave for a minute and it just flips out. My god. No wonder you were so damn crazy when it was before. Oh god, this is definitely gonna be a tough one. Okay, this time they're all going towards the tree, so that's pretty easy to deal with. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. What I need to do here... Will be interesting. This is going to be very hard to manage. Very, very hard to manage. <laughs> Honestly. Well, let's take a look and see what I can level up here, I should say. Everything, I guess. Uh, four additional charges, seven in total. That's pretty nice. The weird thing, that's kind of weird though. It's kind of, I, I, I wish they had reworded that better. So that would basically kill everything. I'll use that to, to insta kill the, uh. I can't remember its name right now. <laughs> that's my bad. Confirmed. Okay, let's go buy it. To the natives! Greetings, chief. I am here to buy things from you. It'll have to be that. Thank you, noble sir. Okay, let's go get this thing blessed. To Wolvesdale or Wolves Vale. Wolvesdale. I don't know why I keep thinking it's Wolvesdale. That's my bad. Alright, so let's bless this baby. I sense pagan energy in his item. My blessing would be useless. Shit. So you can't have your cake and eat it in this case, it seems. Uh, okay. I guess there are enough of these that I can deal with it the way it is. They cannot be lured by bait, but he should fall for this. I hope. My Ken Shaman is of course going straight up there, but I'm not going to allow that that easily. So what I'm going to do here is, obviously I don't need to do this for this guy. Actually, you know what? Hold up, hold up. Let me do this a different way here. I notice one thing is going to be spawning here, and I don't want him, you know, not going the way, the proper way. Well, 
sucks. There we go. Something along the lines of this. Okay. And you, my friend, are cut off there. Whoops. Remove that. There we go. Oh my god, puppy! So much whining! Oh, you're adorable. I should really I really wish they hadn't taken my chair away for you, otherwise I'd be able to have you up here. I'm trying to drag myself around here, but it won't let me. Okay, so yeah, wave one. They're basically all coming this way. Most of them will be killed by that. I'll deal with the rest with my axe. Actually, if the rest of the main amount of these guys are werewolves... Should be able to deal with them fairly easily if I do pick my axe. Okay, this second, the third wave is incredibly easy. Second wave is fairly easy in and of itself as well, I should say. Since I'll be finishing them off right here, I should just shoot him in the face and be done with that. Third wave. I just have to go. These guys are just going straight for there. So I have to go up here anyway to kill the first will o -Wisp, and I'll dodge over and finish off these ones. After that... We have wave four, in which we have all these werewolves going down to there. So I'll be up here at the time. So I'll need to slide all the way back, slide all the way over to get here. So what I'll do is, I'll try and take them all out in one go. I'll have two bits of meat here. They probably won't finish both of them off, but I will have, well, I'll put the explosive bear a little bit further away, actually, towards me. That way I'll be able to shoot it properly. I do not believe these guys are resistant to bait. Okay. Then finally we have the wolves coming. Okay, now you have to take the long way around. This guy just has to go straight for the church. Which is more of a pain. So in that case, for you, I'll use a wolf trap. should force him through that. Hmm. We have a grand werewolf. Okay, so at that point, at wave four, I'll be over here dealing with them. I'll slide back, I'll deal with the guys at the farm. 
So these two are dead. This guy gets killed by a trap. This guy gets killed by a trap. This guy takes the long way around, and I just basically deal with the rest of them down to the bottom here. And that is game, set, and match. At least I hope. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Okay, I think I am going to keep my double-bladed axe for now, though. Because it seems like that one's going to be the most efficient axe to use for this night. I actually expected even more werewolves than I'm getting here. But, you know, I'm not complaining. So let's do this. Let's do this thing. There we go. Got my silver bullets ready to go here. Got him. Headshot! Oh, son of a gun, are you serious? Wow, you suck. Okay, that's it, enough of that. No, you don't, asshole. You're not, re you're not healing him again. Let's pop that. That freaking hurt, man. Oh my god, those are my cans. You just cannot underestimate those bastards. Okay, this should hopefully finish this Windigo in one sh in one shot. Hope. Yep. Nope. Yes, actually, no. Never mind. It did. It did. Come at me, bro. Let's do this, Wolf. This one. Almost took the wrong one. Come on, keep doing it. All right, let's finish these punks. Oh, you're going down, Will the Wisps. You're going down. Where are you guys? Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot. I can deal with you over here quickly. Actually, I can stay here because they're just going to be directed over to me anyway. Now, let me use the talisman to shift my scent to the left. Because that way I should be a little safer from the werewolves when I have to deal with them. Oh, you're going to come from behind now, aren't you? Okay. Come on down. Come into my parlor, boys. Let's have a party. Definitely got to buy more alcohol though next time because I'm kind of running in low. Come on, boys, do this. Oh, one got me. Got you. Oh, you mild annoyances. Quickly. Gotta get over to the next tower. Whee! 
I mean, you gotta love the zip line. I mean, geez, if only we could actually use this, well, you know, over as long of a distance, I mean, you know, you have a rope going this far, usually in a straight line, it would dip, you know, when you're a quarter of the way through. Wouldn't exactly be that effective. Good, I do have a line of sight on it. I suppose I could have just shouted them, but I don't know how fast that other one is, so I didn't want to. Okay, here comes the others. Hurry up, boys. Your boss is devouring all the bait. You don't want to... You don't want him to get all of it, do you, boys? Come on, hurry up. Done. GG! Got you, little punks. Done, done. Now, the only one left, so the Grand Wolf, which should be coming my way on this side. And the other Minor Wolf, which will take a long time to get here. Actually, there's a couple of them, but I guess I'll go meet them. There's no point in... Well, you never know. I'm gonna stay near the house, because bad things might happen here. You never know. Uh, I'm just gonna chillax, and enjoy. Here he comes. Come on down, Wolfie. Let's do this, my friend. I'ma spread the fear to your heart. The fear of my axe, my mighty blade. Come, you little buggers, give me your skins. I will flay you all. Done. <laughs> GG, wolves. GG. Oh, wait. Nope, never mind. He's dead. Yeehaw! Go Canada! <laughs> oh, nice. Sweet. All the money I need. I've prepared you a little tonic. Swallow this, and the beautiful Josephine is yours. Can I trust you? No, you can't trust me. But you don't have any other choice. <laughs> don't worry. You're risking nothing at all. This is the love potion I've promised you, concocted with the blood of your beauty. Once my little potion has been swallowed, she'll find you irresistible. Hmm. Oh yeah, as you turn into a giant beast. Oops. I must have overdone the dose. But what? No! Oh, the devil got his due! Devour him! Devour him! Devour his soul! His soul! Mighty Wapakwan, the mother of Jack and Joe's and Josephine, was a uh, Inu priestess who possessed great powers of division, or div divination. Blah, blah, blah. Divination, I guess. Blah. blah. Passed it down to her daughter, yada yada yada, invisible beast, blood moon. I think we've all I think we all got this point here. We do need that third key though. I'm pretty sure we only have two of the keys. We do need that third key, so hopefully we get it here soon. Politics and treachery. In the distance, that cry coming from the village. It has just been born. It is looking for us. The invisible beast. But why is it looking for us in particular? Anyway, we have old crazy eyes glasses, and the blacksmith is supposed to give us our magic axe today. 
I don't know about you guys, but if I were the invisible beast, I'd pack up the kids and get the hell out of town without waiting for my change. The third key is missing, but I don't know what it is. I haven't been able to see it. I don't know. Well, Jackie boy, while you're busting your brain trying to understand our sister's gibberish, I'm going to the village to put a little pressure on the blacksmith. Dun dun dun. Wolfsville. Well, if it isn't Joe O'Carroll, the giant of Lac St. John, in person. I wanted to thank you for saving our little Adele. When a community like ours works as a team, we can do great things. Thanks a lot. Well, we've got different notions of teamwork, Mr. Mayor. You know what, my friend? In a way, you're right to be mad at me. I say things without thinking first these days. But I know you Irish guys, and I know there's nothing you can forgive over a good whiskey. Let's bury the hatchet, as the Indians say. I'm inviting you for a drink at the hotel. Well, you know, that sounds like a good way to make peace. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Later at the Thirsty Log Driver. Innkeeper, where are some of your special reserve? Those Irish spirits that are a hundred years old. Right away, sir. You know, Napoleon, buddy, if I didn't vote for you, it's not because I don't like you. It's just, how do you realize what a good guy you were when it comes right down to it? Aww. What can I say, old friend? Appearances are sometimes deceiving. For example, take this whiskey that's just been served to you. For the novice, nothing distinguishes it from another. A connoisseur like you, however, recognizes its elegance and complexity. Oh, Lord. Hmm. Elegance. I wouldn't know about. But this whiskey of yours sure hits the spot. I'd even say that. Whoa! And down he goes. The mortar. So I get to play as the brother now. Sure, I definitely want to review this because I now have to play as the trap guy. The mortar. The mortar's placement so is a lot done weaker. in two steps. Place the mortar wherever you like. Then position where you want the mortar to strike. While you're nearby, press E to use the mortar. Oh, that's a good idea. Left click to fire the mortar. So, it's like a long range explosive barrel that you don't have to shoot. Oh my god, I think I love this trap. I think I love this trap. Careful, you knock to your brother. And can no longer visit the village. You don't have any skills. And your inventory is empty. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is unfortunate. So basically, it's a. Oh my god, puppy, they'll be back soon. You don't have to be so whiny. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. Shh. Shh. It's okay, pup. It's okay, it's okay. Now, how much does this mortar cost? 50 cents and 50 AP. <whistles> you expensive little bugger. Oh, frack. Oh, God, this is gonna suck. Something fierce. Let's go here. Yeah, crap. This is not going to be easy, to say the least. Either way, all the wolves are going to come through here, so I'll deal with the wolves from an individual basis. I'll have to just beat them down with my axe, all you know, skill wise, as it were.
Hmm. We'll have to use a sh uh, sacred tree. Probably actually I'll use two sacred trees here to deal with these two because they're going to be really, really tough to kill. Uh, just by myself, because I have no silver axe. There we go. It'll force you to go around. The longer route. Which I will be observing. Okay, now wave three... Everyone's going over here. So, at wave three... Let's see, where's my wind blowing? Okay, I'll be here at that point, so I'll kind of hide from him a little bit. For wave three against the werewolves, I will use the mortar. Okay, and then finally... Wave four, we have a couple of will-o'-wisps. You I'll just deal with as I can. Okay. I'll probably put the, I'll probably pop a wayside cross over here while I'm at it. Just because I can. And I'll slow them down a little bit just by popping a couple of these around. Cause that'll force them to go around and give me time to actually get there. Oh hello. Goes through firewalls. Okay, never mind. This one's going to go through the firewalls. Oh, I have no skill. I have no skills. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot I had no skills, so it's not going to make a difference in the world. Okay, in that case, I can use another, since I have what I need for it. Might as well use a third tree over here to deal with those guys. I'll start chopping up some wood here. In case I need, the f need it. Alright, let's do this. It's nothing but me, my basic axe, and a whole bunch of wolves. This is going to be interesting. Oh, I should have put down a campfire. Joe should have been back from the village with the magic axe a long time ago. I haven't got a choice. I'll have to leave Josephine all alone while I check the traps. Come at me, wolves! I may have messed up this night, so I will have to. I might have to redesign the traps, but we'll see what happens. We will see how it goes. about to die. Run! Oh yeah, no, I'm definitely screwed this up. No, I'm done. Ah, I definitely screwed that up. I'll do that. I'll start at night here. I don't really want to make major changes to my traps, I just want to add in a couple of extras here to keep me alive. Such as this spike trap here. This guy down on the right I want to take care of immediately with a good wolf trap here, because he's a tough little bugger. Okay. You're going to be coming out of that woods, so I'll pop this down here to deal with you. 
Okay. That's wave one taken care of. Wave two. I'm still iffy on that. Honestly, you know what? Just take another trap to the face. Right, let me put it down here. I should be safer that way. And sell this. Although I think he's coming down that way, so... Yeah, no, he is coming down that way, so I don't want him to get hit by the trap. He is bait, or he is food for the trees. Wave three. We have the wolves making an appearance. I'll kind of back off and hide back here. And deal with them when I get the chance. And then finally, wave four, we have these guys coming up again. Showing up. That is, cough. In which case, I'll probably just run afterwards, after I blow them up down here and try and take them on. Hmm. Why not? Let's get another sacred tree over here as well. Start the night. Start the night. Let's do this. Hopefully I get the other guy back. This is going to be so tough. Oh, I probably would have worked out better if I d God did the opposite, you know, play as this brother. That way, when he goes to town, and gets whatever that happens to him there. I'm assuming he's not going to get drunk, because he's a little bit smarter than that. But, who knows, you know? Who knows what happens to him. So the Grand Werewolves, sure, Grand Werewolves. Grand Wolves should be taken care of immediately. Uh, the other wolves will be dealt with when I get the chance here. I hope that's Grand Wolf. Get over here, boys. Come on. Come at me, wolves! Got him. Yep, my can time. Dance, man! Dance like you mean it! Guess I guess I oh, underestimate how much damage that thing does to the does to them. Completely underestimate how much damage that thing does to them. These trees might still actually engage the one werewolf, possibly killing it. I still have a lot of charges left. I would hope that he gets away without being assaulted, but... You know, whatever happens. Okay. There we go. Got one, two, and then the third one should be approaching soon. Come on, man, get over there. Get over there. Fire! Got him. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Oh, frack. Being trapped by these damn trees! Shit, 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 shit.
Nice, kill will wisps using only your traps. The exorcist, I like that. I did it! Head to the waypoint. Yeehaw! Go, brother! Oh, fuck! That was unfortunate. Oh god damn. Then trap there's always rivalry between uh I'm not even gonna pronounce his name. Not even gonna attempt it. Paradise and hell. Heaven. Chapter eighteen. I always thought my sins would keep me out of. Stop putting yourself down. You're a very long way from heaven. And if your friend the innkeeper hadn't been nice enough to bring you here. I wouldn't have rated your chances very high. Chill, I have to talk to you. There's things going on up in the village that aren't exactly on the up and up. Napoleon wants to get rid of you and your brother, you hear me? And he plotted with Elzar the priest to convince me to poison you last night. For me, that was going too far, so I cut the dose. Somebody's got to do something here. If it's not you, I don't know who else. Tar and thunderation! At this hour? Jack must be worried sick waiting for me with our sister. I gotta get back to the house. Just a minute. Theo asked me to give you this axe to help you. Holy shit, that thing's sexy! With this, a nun could cut a wolf in half with two fingers up... up her nose. Josephine, nothing happened to you, did it? Only you could talk and tell me where Jack went. Tarnation, you're burning up. It don't make any sense. I can't take you to the village. They kill you. Jack better be back damn soon, or else our sister will be a goner. Dun dun dun. I got my money back. Yay! Couple of wolves coming to the house. I can deal with that easily enough. This, on the other hand, is going to prove to be a little more difficult, it looks like. Alright, so I'll, you, I'll put down some spikes to deal with the first little batch there. A little firewall, just kind of force them into the, into the spikes. Alright. I'll have some more spikes up front here, which I'll lure them into, and deal with the one shaman. Oh, here comes whiny puppy. <laughs> Who's a whiny puppy? Who's the whiny puppy? Who's the whiny puppy? I'll activate the sacred tree over here, which I'll lure the last of them into. Oh my god, puppy, here's your attention. Here's your attention. Here's your constant attention. Oh, my neck. Bloody hell. Okay. Third one. We got one punk coming here. One punk. Well, two punks going to the church. So, again, I will... Oh, my God. It's like the end of the world for you, dog. It's not the end of the world. It's okay. Shh. It's okay. Shh. Okay, puppy. You know what? I think I'm going to have to end this at an hour and probably deal with the little rascal here as he's a little bit too, you know, just dying of sadness right now. So I'm going to have to deal with puppy. I'm going to have to deal with puppy. You're never right. I'm going to have to give you all sorts of little hugs. All sorts of little puppy hugs since you're such a whiner. You're such a whiner. Oh, you good, good puppy. So in that case, I almost shouldn't even bother setting up this trap for tonight. But, yeah. Oh, did you at least get some experience enough for a level? You did. Now, I probably want, at this point, Rage the 3, the Sasquatch's Kiss. Accumulation of 4 Rage Points, the execution of another Rage Attack, causing an earthquake inflicting up to a distance of 5 meters. The Sawmill. Destroying everything in your path for five seconds. It's pretty badass actually sounding. I like the sound of that, so we'll go for that. 
return. So let's see what else I have to deal with, though, just to have a sneak peek of this wave. And I'll skip the cutscene next time as well. So, wave four. We have another one of you coming over here. Oh my god, this is going to be a very tough wave. Luckily, I should be able to insta-kill that guy. So basically, I need to pop down a lot of trees here in that one spot. And then the final wave. We have two Windigos coming, my, coming over to that tree here. I should be able to deal with them, I hope. I'll use two ballistas there to deal with them. So yeah, no, I'm going to call that for today. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed. Uh, let's return to the main menu for now. Let's see exactly what stage I'm at here. Pretty sure I'm in the last two days of this. Load day. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in the final three days. We did three days today. They're getting more difficult. They're getting longer. It took me an hour to get through three days. So that was pretty damn tough. So we have three more left, and then that's it. The final countdown here. Final countdown! So it's going to be really nice. I can't wait. So again, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, have yourselves a good one, and I will catch you all next time with some more Sang Freud, A Tale of Werewolves, and my cans, and Windigo Bastards, who are tough as hell, and shoot fire at me. Or fire. Shoot ice at me, I should say. That damn freezing cold ice breath. But yeah, have a good one, everybody.